Hey guys, this is Jacob here and today's video, we're gonna be doing a day in the life of a quantitative trader. So when I wake up, usually around 7 a.m., some mornings I do work out, this day I actually worked out after work, but I wake up, make my coffee, and check Trello, which is a project management task board slash software to see uh, our current tasks for the day and what we're doing. Um, I'll also make more tasks specific or edit them as needed. And one of the tasks today was setting up the new main server. We have uh, servers running in the cloud to run our trading systems. We don't run them on our local computer. And we did get a new server in downtown Chicago. So that was installed and uh, I was just remote desktoping in, making sure all the settings are correct, our strategies are correct, the source code's correct, uh, and making sure we have all the dependencies. We were actually missing a couple of dependencies for the trading systems, um, which you'll see in orange right there as you're seeing on the screen. So I had to fix those. We were just missing some Excel uh, dependencies and libraries. So I worked on fixing that and that took uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe half an hour to an hour tops. But usually in the morning, I'll check out Trello uh, and see what tasks I'm doing for the day, make tasks more specific. Sometimes the cards are not specific enough or I got to add more description. And I like really planning on my day and knowing what I'm going to do. It just makes me work much more efficiently and not having, you know, any second guesses or guesswork and being really thorough. So that was that. Then I had a call with uh, my business partner. You can see my analyst in the back taking a picture uh, outside. But uh, we were talking about some systems that we were developing and also uh, talking about how they work and some new alpha that we can potentially find. Uh, we actually had a couple of systems that en uh, exited their trades uh, in the afternoon instead of on session close, which I thought was very interesting. Uh, most of our positions hold to the end of the day. So I think we can get some new alpha with that. And I have a bad habit of having my phone right beside me. And once in a while, I'll check it while I'm working or in meetings. And it's really not productive at all. I got to stop doing it. It's a really bad habit. So I'm going to start putting my phone in a separate room. I used to do that, but I just haven't stuck with it. And it's a really bad habit that I do that. So I did want to point that out. You'll see me look at my phone a couple of times over this meeting and it's just not healthy. So, or, or productive for that matter. Anyways, working on that. Um, but yeah, pretty much the, we were meeting for a good, I think hour, uh, talking about these new systems. It's really important to be thorough in new trading systems and checking if they improve the portfolio. And I also explained to my partner how the trading systems work when they enter, when they exit, uh, what type of risk parameters they have and how they can benefit the portfolio. It's a lot of thorough, thorough work. The goal of this video was to show you just sort of a day in the life, kind of change it up. I know a lot of my content is very dry, um, although it's very valuable and has a lot of data to back it up and a lot of free uh, systems and, and code. I do find that, you know, obviously my views have declined quite a bit and wanted to do some different types of videos. Um, I don't know what you would call this, maybe a lifestyle video, maybe you would call it just, you know, a more entertainment video. But I did want to appear, uh, appeal to a wider audience um, sometimes on, on some types of videos. But uh, rest assured, you know, there will be a lot more videos about you know, how to code trading systems and, you know, different ways to model good trading systems and test them and, you know, other ways to, to test them. So, uh, but I think this video, I just wanted to change things up. So um, let me know in the comments below if you like these types of videos or you prefer just, you know, the straight up. Um, statistics of a trading system or how to code X trading system um, or tips and tricks on how to be a better algo trader. I'd like to hear your feedback, but once in a while, I do like to kind of switch it up and be a little bit more normal and less dry in my content. Um, you know, I think it's really important. So especially for appealing to, to newer audiences. Anyways, we are still on this meeting uh, as there was, I think, 30 different trading systems that we built. And I'm just going through the charts and going through the signals on how they work and explaining them. Uh, it's important to be really transparent with my, my business partner because he doesn't have a tech background. So I kind of have to translate uh, the code into English, if you will, when explaining how it works. Just helps build confidence uh, when you're running portfolios. We use math to make all of our decisions or most of our decisions, I should say. And math is very important for building confidence because once you have confidence in a portfolio, you're just less likely to override and you just let things run uh, as, as you should. If you model something, you should run it as is as prescribed. The minute you overwrite things, that's when things can go bad. Now it's near the end of the day around four or 5 PM. 
and I'm writing some stuff on the whiteboard here. I do like to write out stuff done and tasks on this whiteboard. Just the, the sensation of physically writing them sometimes feels good instead of just on Trello, which is of course on a, on a website. So uh, usually what I do at the end of the day, I wouldn't say every day I do this, and maybe you could have said I've done this just for the video, but I, I do do it at least once a week where I'll, I'll write out stuff that still needs to be done, stuff we learn or stuff that's not working for the day. So on the left here, I wrote, you know, stuff that needs to be done. So like break even code, daily stop code. This, this was for some new trading systems. I want, we wanted to update some of the uh, code for the break even and daily stop exits. And then on the right here, I'm writing interesting things that we learned today. Uh, we found one good bot that had a, a solid p and um, We had a bot that exited at 2.15 p.m., which was new for us. We don't really have too many systems like that. So just interesting things. I like to write down so we can apply it in the future and see if we can, you know, make us more alpha, make more money. So I ended the work day usually around, I'd say on average, probably 5.30 to 6, some days later to 7. And now I'm at the gym in my building. It's a leg day. I'm going to do, starting off with some squats here. I just started with 145 pounds, so one plate on each side. And um, yeah, doing some legs, doing some squats, good old squats. Been definitely neglecting legs, but... I think, I, I believe physical, you know, fitness is very important for a strong mind, a strong body. And I've always loved working out ever since I was a kid. So I think it's important to always, you know, get my reps in. Um, some days I don't want to go to the gym, but just getting that started, you know, five, 10 minutes, I feel better. But I think physical and fitness is really important for discipline. And then uh, after that, I went out to dinner, got some omakase, which is sort of like, delayed sushi it's, it's a way of eating in japanese style and had some sake with a work friend of mine and that was the day it ended around uh, 7 38 p.m so anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments below if you like these day in life videos but if not we'll see you next week Bye bye